Unitree has just launched a new robot version, and it costs $5,900, and we want to explain why this is a clever move from Unitree to dominate the market fully, and also some of the features of this robot. So lately, we've been seeing a surge in people owning Unitree G1 robots, walking with them on the street, taking them shopping, or even using them to promote events, like the Unitree robot spotted in Detroit. Now, Unitree has recognized this growing trend of casual users who simply want a robot to hang out with, and they've responded by launching a new, cheaper, human humanoid robot called the R1, starting at just $5,900. So in this video, we're diving into everything we know so far about this new release. Initially, Unitree designed the G1 for researchers, educators, and robot enthusiasts. Think of developers who need a platform to test AI models for walking, running, or task execution, but lack the budget to build a robot from scratch. But now demand from casual users has skyrocketed, especially from April 2025. These buyers are not interested in advanced features. They just want to own a robot to hang out with or show off to their neighbors and often opt for the base G1 model. Now Unitree has taken their learnings from the G1 and distilled them into the R1. The robot can't help you with any task. It's purely a companion robot. That comes loaded with a large language model, and as such, you can have a solid conversation with it. It's basically what most casual users were already using the stripped-down G1 for. But now Unitree has made that experience more affordable and intentional with the R1. The R1 comes in lighter at around 25 kilograms, which is a noticeable drop from the G1's 35 kilograms. That reduction in weight likely makes it easier to handle, carry, or even ship. It also features fewer joints, 26 in total, and if you look at the hands, they're frozen in a fixed fist shape. The fingers don't move, which means it can't grasp or manipulate objects. That's not surprising, considering its purpose is not utility, but companionship. But knowing Unitree, it's likely that they'll roll out optional add-ons in the future. If you want fully articulated fingers or extra sensors, those will probably be sold as separate upgrade kits at an extra cost. This modular approach has always been part of Unitree's strategy. In terms of its perception system, it's reasonable to assume that the R1 relies on basic cameras rather than expensive LiDAR systems. That alone would explain the significantly lower price point. LiDAR would be overkill for a robot that isn't expected to navigate complex environments autonomously or manipulate delicate objects. Since it's not meant to carry out physical tasks, its payload capacity is likely very low, probably limited to carrying lightweight items like a small bag or groceries if necessary, but don't expect it to lift anything substantial. The R1 seems like a direct answer to what the casual humanoid robot customer has been demanding. 